What am I going to do? Welcome to. Yeah. Okay, is it recording? Uh, yeah. Hold on. All right, back up. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Welcome to. Avian Adventures. And we are live. Look at this birding stuff. And we are live. <laughs> Look at this birding stuff. That's amazing. And stuff. we're live. Well, I was Look doing this it the second stuff. time because the video wasn't rolling. Uh, uh, moron. So what we're looking at now is a reddish egret and a woodstock. The uh, reddish egret actually has a pretty cool way of feeding. It will run backwards and forwards and uh, often open up its wing called canopy hunting or feeding, possibly to try and lure the fish in with the sort of shadiness. And if it's not trying to lure them in, maybe it's trying to scare them into moving. But either way, once it's done its little dance, you'll just see it suddenly shoot down that bill in a spear-like movement and grab its fish. There we go, I was dropping some knowledge bombs there. I reckon they're sandalings. Sandalings, may, may I have a browse in the scope? Yeah. Zoom. Now I think we all know why sandalings are called sandalings. They like the sand. That's right. No, I don't know. That's no, that's it. I concur. Three sandalings. The one at the back looks like he has a limp from an old war wound. The one on the sand. right, I'm detecting a French Canadian accent. That's interesting. Can you yep. see his passport from here? Yeah, his address says he's from Montreal, so that would that would make sense. What about the third one? Uh, no, he's just local. No war wounds. I wonder if no he's showing this round. I think that could be it. They're yeah, very I friendly birds. They're visiting. Sandalings. And he's just you know walking them through. Yeah. This is this is where I like to get all my little grubs or whatever it is they eat. Little. They, they eat sand. No, they don't. Maybe sometimes by accident. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to eat stuff out of sand, it's going to, like, if you drop your sandwich in the sand, it's going to have sand on it. Who would drop their sandwich in the sand? That's silly. People that are very surprised. That's fair. By, by a sandaling. <laughs> That's their main form of attack. They surprise you. You drop your sandwich and they've got it. So Phil, uh, that sandwich turn earlier, what, what was it about it that made you say sandwich? So, uh, for one thing, it's significantly smaller than the Royals and the couple of Caspians that we saw. Uh -huh. But sandwich turns also have a black bill, 
um, usually with a little yellow tip tip and that's that's how you uh, you'll spot them oh. plus of course the sound is different that's another thing to always look out for with with birds um, you've got to kind of put together a, a combination of factors especially when it's a flyby so you got to look look for that sound you got to look for that sound and you got to listen really carefully for any identifying features in its uh, in its its body yep nice and here's the beach I like to uh, I like to smell birds as well yeah so this is the Atlantic Ocean everybody oh look at oh. it let's get right down next to the waves I'm gonna get right down in the waves because I'm barefoot so tide is quite high as you can see we're not at high tide yet so the water is gonna keep coming in and eventually swallow us whole so that'll be fun Get him! Get him! Get him! Was that your sandling impression? I see. I thought you were just being a wuss. There we go. Oh, the one on the left? Yep. He is banded. So, what we have just come across, uh, hanging out with a couple of uh, sandalings, is a piping plover. He's not quite as streaky. He's got a slightly, would it be fair to say he's got a slightly more bulbous head? Yeah, I think he's got a bit of a bulbous head. So you can often hear the piping plover late at night. It sounds a lot like bagpipes. That's hence their name, right? They originated in Scotland uh, in the late 1500s and they actually have their own uh, tartan. Also not true. So the piping plovers are actually endangered. Um, so it's really cool to be able to see them. I'm not sure if they're technically endangered oh. or Wikipedia says they're near threatened. The world population is under 10,000. That means it's pretty cool to see one. It is, and it seems like they're doing a lot here in Duval County to um, protect them. They're doing a lot of surveys out on the beaches, and they band them so that they can keep track of their movement and stuff, which is really cool. Is he a pelican or a pelican? I think he's a pelican. Nice. That's all right. There's, there's about three over there. Huh. Um, Oh yeah. So many plovers. There are so many of them. Dare I say, we've really hit the plover load. I think we need to know the egg size of the semi-palmated plover. Have we got any semi-palmated? Oyster catcher. Oh, this is an oyster catcher emergency. We're just walking towards them. We don't know where they are. But when Mandy sees an oyster catcher, she's drawn. Yeah, we should clarify. The oyster catcher is Mandy's favorite bird. And in fact, more than that, it's the, it's the species that got her into birding in the first place. It's what really got her hooked. So any opportunity to see an oyster catcher, she's, she's gone. Imagine she was the oyster to the oyster catcher's catcher. Actually, they're more like the oysters to her oyster catcher. It's true.
what we have is a giant cluster here mixed flock uh, gulls, terns, skimmers the, a lot of the darker blobs that you might be able to see there that's going to be the skimmers mostly there are a couple of greater and lesser blackback gulls in there as well which are also darker and then the bulk of it is made up of the the mixed bag of terns and gulls all right let's see if you were paying attention earlier in this shot there's at least one sandwich turn can you see it Skimmers are a bit like turns, except they don't like to read as much, so they really get through books fast. So skimmers are actually called skimmers because they have a much larger lower part of their beak. Mandible. Mandible, thank you. And they fly right above the water and put that lower mandible into the water and skim across and scoop up food that way. When you hear about the oceans receding, it's quite often due to skimmers drinking all that water. They're actually quite a big threat to the nation's, uh, to, the, to the world's seas. And eventually, when they've done enough of that scooping, they turn into pelicans, hence that big lower bill. I've got a ring bill. Have. Can you put that on the list? <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. Oh. Well, I think you know what time it is. Yeah. It's time for bird of the day. Bird of the day. Yeah. We've got that nailed. All right. So on three, everyone. I'm gonna say what our bird of the day was. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, Black bill wobbler legs. legs. Wait, what? You said on three, and then you counted down to one. I know. <laughs> is it one, two, three, go, or is it one, two, go? But we didn't say the same bird. What's happening? Oh. Oh, no. This wasn't planned at all. <laughs> oh, we didn't foresee this happening. So, I picked the black back gulls because we saw like 20 lesser black back gulls in a little group. And then the greater, there was a greater black back gull in the giant cluster of uh, terns and gulls that we saw. And it was just giving me the evilest stare I've ever seen. And what was your bird of the day? Oh, uh, American Oyster Catcher. Why? Because they are my boo. Oh, dear. Sorry, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to mope over here. Angie, what was your bird of the day? The Osprey. I have not experienced ospreys that were quite so um, active and diving and landing on the ground and being so close. And... Oh, I see. My bird of the day was the sandaling because I like the way they run backwards and forwards and then they, uh, they do it again over and over. Is that why you kept doing it? That, that was unrelated. Oh. And that was our... Bird of the day. Bird of the day. Bird of the day. Now I'm going to sleep. I need to start putting a disclaimer at the beginning of every episode. That, that doesn't rich. Anything Rich says, probably a lot. What you talking about, Willet? <laughs>